Morning, Michigan. A very pleasant hump day Wednesday to you. You heard the news this morning that auto insurers are going to at least attempt to uh, gut Michigan's no-fault law, and that would deal a severe blow to the state's economy. There was a study released by the Anderson Economic Group. That proposed policy change could result in thousands of lost jobs and million in lost earnings, and maybe the most heartbreaking part, 700 people a year with severe injuries would not get proper treatment. We have a no-fault system, and uh, we're discussing it this morning with John Prosser, the Vice President of Development, Acquisition, and uh, Public Relations for Health Partners. Nurse Home Care, you drove safely here. Um, I, I took a, uh, I'm taking that online advanced driver's course right now because I got a speeding ticket and uh, I want to avoid the points. And this is a new a deal in Michigan where you can take this class and reduce the points. I'm learning a lot. And that fact is, I'm learning that if you're an average driver, every 12 years you're going to be in an accident of some sort. Now, I, I, like my odds to be covered in case that accident is a serious one. And what uh, is Amen. happening here is that, that that sort of coverage will be no longer instantly, automatically available to the people who need it the most? Well, I, th I believe that, that those facts that you just cited, Michael, are make these uh, bills, Senate bills, very specious um, on their face. Um, Health Partners Home Care specializes in serving people that have brain injuries and spinal cord injuries. You've seen it. Uh, for 20 years, I've been visiting families in the home and in hospitals, and I can tell you it's the most incredibly upsetting event that could happen to anybody. Um, we have a lot of details about how horrific these accidents can be, and you can visit our website and view our advocacy video at healthpartnersinc.com. Mm -hmm. That's Health Partners Inc. Uh, dot com. It, it'll lead you to the Coalition Protecting Auto No Fault site. Um, it's a wonderful, uh, informative video. A couple of key facts. You know, right now, this is the best system in the world, the best system in America. We have the greatest resources for rehabilitation and in-home care and aggressive therapies for these victims of these auto accidents anywhere in the world, anywhere in America. Insurance companies are netting 22%, netting 22%, not counting over-reserving, there's $13 billion in our catastrophic fund. Every single nickel of that money was put there by drivers for drivers. Mm -hmm. I think that's the singular genius of the legislature, the wisdom of the legislature in the day that this was conceived. If you want the privilege of driving, and it is a privilege, not yes. necessarily a freedom, No. Uh, you pay into the system. Well, it's a beautiful win-win. How much it, is it? It's $145 a year, a year. to reinsure yourself against catastrophic loss. Mm -hmm. And I think we lose sight of the fact that the system was designed based on risk management principles. Buying insurance is about risk management. You are at risk. And it's the, and it, I can tell you I've met hundreds of people over 20 years most of whom were the victim of someone else's error, someone else's mistake that ran into them or their loved one. Go and, and visit with these families with us. Come and visit our families and imagine it was you or your loved one. What would you want? What would you need? And that's exactly why we need to put people before profits. And right now, under the system, that $145 a year each of us pay to protect ourselves, it gets you what if in case you are in one of these dreadful accidents? Well, the, the law specifically uh, designates that you are entitled to all reasonably necessary products and services related to the care, the recovery, and the rehabilitation of injuries sustained in an automobile accident. Automatically. Very no broad. Questions no, asked. no questions asked. Well, that doesn't mean that you don't get some grief from some insurance companies. Huh. Uh, it's, I think it's fair to say there are some very good insurance companies that care about their insureds and they act that way, but there's plenty that don't, and I think they make a bad name for the good insurance companies. But the law says you get all of these things. You get um, Your life. You get airlifted. You get taken to the best centers in the country. You get uh, acute care at the acute center. You get subacute rehabilitation. You get long-term care. You get home modifications. You get in-the-home nursing care, round-the-clock, persistent aggressive therapies, and all of the durable medical equipment you could need. In every other state in America, you go bankrupt, you fall to Medicaid, and you suffer. A lot of people don't realize... So we pay for it anyway, then. Well, there you go, because it, and it's on the back end, and you don't get any of the benefits that I just mentioned under Medicaid. Mm -hmm. They're simply not available, and, and Medicaid is breaking the bank. So I think one of the great juxtapositions, the ironic juxtapositions of the day, is that Florida intends to adopt a similar Michigan model, okay? The Michigan model is the model as designated by the Insurance Institute as the finest in America. They want to <laughs> adopt it 
to avoid bankruptcy that is what happens to families uh, they want to save the billions in Medicaid that they caught that they are it's costing the state government and they want to create tens of thousands of jobs that's the very thing that's being threatened in Michigan we're gonna lose tens of thousands of jobs and hundreds of millions of dollars to our economy in a system that's funded by drivers for drivers I think that's wrong I think that's bad public policy I'm hopeful though Michael I have to tell you that I, I'm optimistic that when all of the new legislators uh, that are now in Lansing drill down on this topic and discover that it's funded by drivers for drivers mm -hmm. they'll absolutely vote to protect, preserve, and strengthen this model. Is there some sort of uh, vote coming soon? We understand that uh, there is going to be a consolidation bill that's going to come out of the House. Uh, when I say we, I am part of the coalition protecting auto no fault. Mm -hmm. um, when If people go to Health partnersinc.com uh, you'll be directed to the coalition website as well we're a group of 28 associations statewide hospital association physicians association home care providers association um, michigan trial lawyers etc uh, that are all about preserving protecting and strengthening the law um, HealthPartnersInc.com is where you can go, and we will co connect that to this interview on the podcast at MichiganTalkNetwork.com if you want to hear this again or figure out how you can get involved. How long have we had no-fault insurance in Michigan? Great question. 38 years. It was adopted in 1973 by then-Governor Milliken. Um, and keep in mind, you know, you brought up something in your question. It's so it's so significant. There's about 70,000 accidents in Michigan on average every year, says the state police. We know that on average about 1,500 people cross the threshold into the catastrophic fund, meaning the cost for their aggressive, persistent care exceeds $500,000. This new Anderson study indicates that fully half of those people mm -hmm. would not be covered. They would go bankrupt. They would fall to Medicaid, and they would suffer. That's totally ridiculous. Uh, it's the irony is that we, we've been paying into this for, what do you say, 38 years <clears throat> without even noticing. Well, right? there you go. And it's, it's all buried. It's not a fee that comes. It's buried in your insurance. It's built it's into your insurance. It's all part of the package. You're, you're paying for this. The <clears throat> genius is that the wisdom of the legislature conceived it. They implemented it. We're funding it. And there's $13 billion in our fund as drivers. We'll continue with Michigan's morning show. It's Michael Patrick Shields. Find us at michigantalknetwork.com.